Digitalization is about making things easier for people, giving people the, the opportunity to choose what, choose how they do things. I mean, when it's pure banking speak, I like to call it, you know, I think self-service. I want to do my banking, I want to do what I want to do, when I want to do it, wherever I am, with as little friction as possible. And I think that's what the digital opportunity gives you, first of all. That whole removal of paper business, and where do you keep it, where do you store it, and then how do you recall it or how do you get information? How do you access that information which is on that paper when you want it? This whole digital thing, it just cuts across from internal to external. How do we digitalize our business to make it much easier to increase productivity, to increase better collaboration and product development? And how do we pass it on to our customers? How do we make it easier for them to access their services? How do we contribute to their life, like what we call in that one, beyond banking? Before digitalization, you were mostly product and profit centric, but now, you know, if your services are not um, available, if your services are not, um, are not good enough, the customer will complain. We just rode the wave. So as technology advanced, we, we leveraged on it. It meant that we could reach more people in a cost-effective manner. Nowadays, um, we have data of our customers. We understand how they transact their business. So we can target them. You know, we can do targeted product at um, each of our customers. The process of zoning down on a particular vendor, you put a lot into consideration because you're talking about millions of dollars of investment. So you have to carefully think through it. You have to engage all the other vendors. During this process, we found Microsoft to be highly innovative. The amount of innovation that Microsoft put into their product, and you can be sure about you know, if Microsoft give you a product, in another two, three years, when they're going to do you know, a revised product, you know that most of the things that you really want will have been added to the product because there's a lot of engagement even while to use the system. When thinking about Diamond Bank, we had um, a lot of conversations with the CEO as well as his leadership team around typically two types of engagement, employee engagement and customer engagement. And he really wanted to find a way to foster collaboration between, you know, himself, the leadership team, the managers in the company, as well as the general employees. And uh, we started looking at how we could, you know, change this. Prior to now, they had an on-premise system with um, their messaging systems, you know, and um, communication systems all on-premise. And we talked to them about um, the value of um, Office 365, especially how they could use, you know, collaboration suits like Yammer, like um, Skype for Business Broadcast to really drive engagement with their teams. And we started out with a pilot of um, Yammer, and that was that really, really went very well. Um, in the first couple of months, they got, you know, thousands of employees talking and engaging and collaborating together. And the next step was to go into Skype. We did Skype for Business um, Enterprise Voice. We did that with um, Skype for Business and also combined that with Skype for Business Broadcast. And um, you know, the, the reaction was amazing. He was able to engage with his teams you know, in a really, 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 really powerful way you know, that got them very excited. Every morning my alarm goes off. Uh, Apple tells me that, you know, it's time to wish happy birthday. I go into Skype for Business and I say, hello, Teresa, it's a birthday today. My favorite is Yama. It's a place where people say what they want, right? Um, people express themselves. You know what's going on in the organization. So when people are having parties somewhere or people are doing expeditions or something's happening in um, other parts of the country, you feel involved. So when we're having one of these retail campaigns, it's just amazing to see, you can see what's going on. We use Power BI a lot, you know, Microsoft Power BI, another product of uh, Microsoft for data, for reporting, so we could do risk analysis, um, customer 360 degrees, um, we could, um, you know, if we could do risk rating, credit rating, you know, credit risk analysis and the rest of that. From data you will know when a customer is, is going to do good, you know when a customer is in badly. Before when you're leaving town, you would say, I'm not going to be in the office, so I will have limited access to my email and so please um, contact XYZ. I don't think I've done that in a very long time because I don't need to. I have freedom to rest and relax but know that I can keep an eye and see what's going on or I can be reached to, to consult. That's, I think that's the world that you know uh, we've managed to create in-house. I remember some years ago when they said they wanted to go green and then go paperless. That only speaks to a lot of things that they wanted to do with technology. How they want the customers or their employees to engage and collaborate. And Microsoft has always been behind all of these initiatives. We have gone beyond that age of share of wallet. It's now share of life. How do we share in your life? Because banking is just a very, very small part of it. 
that for us to provide you that great service, we need to know more about your life. And digitalization helps us to do that.